animal and plant cells have a lot of things in common, but there are a few things that set them apart. Plant and animal cells have most of the major organelles like the nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, and so on. But animal cells have centrioles for division and lysosomes for breaking down substances. The three major unique features of plant cells are the rigid cell wall, which surrounds the cell membrane, the large fluid-filled central vacuole, and plastids, like chloroplasts, which carry out photosynthesis. The cell wall surrounds the cell membrane and is made mostly of a carbohydrate called cellulose. It provides structure and contains the pressure of the vacuole pressing against it, which is called turgor pressure. The large central vacuole is a big fluid-filled storage tank. It stores water, enzymes, wastes, and other materials. It also creates a lot of pressure, pushing other organelles up against the edge of the cell and filling up to 90% of the space of the cell. This is a key water storage tank for plants. If they go through a very dry period, the vacuole shrinks, the cell loses turgor pressure, and the plant wilts. Plastids include chloroplasts, chromoplasts, ameloplasts, and others. Chloroplasts are the site of photosynthesis. Chromoplasts have high amounts of pigmentation and are often found in flower petals or the skins of fruits. Some chloroplasts turn into chromoplasts during the ripening process. Ameloplasts are another type of plastid, and they store starch for the plant for energy, and it's good for us because ameloplasts are found in potatoes, and we can turn those into french fries. Those three parts set plant cells apart from other cells and give them their unique features. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.